Hello, I'm Janelle Shala. In this video, I'm discussing what is arguably the most popular crystal, especially with crystal healers. I'm not talking about you collectors because you'll probably be thinking this is a fairly common mineral, but really lovely mineral. A lot of people are attracted to it when they first start in getting involved with crystals. That's amethyst. Amethyst is a lovely purple quartz. It is specifically purple. I know recently we've had a lot of things coming out called green amethyst and red amethyst, etc. Actually, the purple color is what defines it as amethyst. Notice that it, the crystal forms with, the, you've got the point of it, but underneath it, because it forms in a bed, which I will show you in a moment, it doesn't have straight sides like a normal quartz. If you have a clear quartz crystal or a citrine, you'll have straight sides and the break will be somewhere down there. Amethyst is lovely. It is really, really calming and soothing and will help with sleep. So it's one of the things that we use for sleep problems. We usually associate it with the third eye chakra here, although I am well aware that some of you will associate it with the crown and that's okay. We all have different ways of working and that's fine. But if you go with the third eye, behind the third eye we have the pineal gland and the pineal gland regulates your sleep patterns. So that's where that's coming from. It will help with sleep. You can keep a little piece under your pillow. You can put a little grid by putting one by each leg of the bed just to help you sleep. I'm going to show you a mega piece now. This is still a point. It still has all the same uh, qualities that you just saw in the smaller piece, but look at the size of it. This is really unusual. We don't get them this size very often anymore. It used to be more common, but very hard to get hold of. Now, both of these lovely pieces come from Brazil, and the Brazilian amethyst will be quite different from other amethysts. So some of the amethysts, um, paler, larger crystals, that's usually Brazilian. When you get the deeper colors, it comes from Uruguay usually. You also get amethyst from Turkey and various other places, but most of what's on the market is Brazil or Uruguay. I'm going to show you a cluster of it. Now this is a Brazilian one and you can see fairly typically it's rather pale. A lot of people like this, and this particular piece, um, it would be referred to as tobacco amethyst because you've got some little black inclusions inside the crystals, which somebody decided looks like tobacco for some reason. I don't quite get it myself, but that's what it's known as. Now the clusters do something completely different. The clusters can help with um, uh, clearing space, you know, clearing the room if there's um, unnecessary, unwanted energy. Also very good for electromagnetic radiation, so you can use one by the TV or the computer. I'll show you a typical piece from Uruguay now. You notice the depth of color, but whatever is creating the color has um, made the crystal slightly smaller, at least I believe that's what's going on here. It has uh, inclusions of probably iron and manganese, but it does vary with the amethyst. But notice how deep the color is and how sparkly the crystals are. This makes it a higher grade crystal, so you will pay more for something like this than you were, will for the other one I just showed you. It doesn't make the other one poor, it just means that they are different and have a different quality, different grading system. Another thing that amethyst does is, uh, because it ties into the third eye, it also helps to develop our psychic gifts. So a lot of people use it for that. That's, um, it's very gentle in that way, so it won't kind of blast your head open. It will just open you up very slowly and gently, and also help to connect you with your spiritual self. This piece is another one of the Uruguayan ones, but this one is, it's got larger crystals. This makes it rarer, more unusual. So something like this is going to be a bit more expensive than the one I just showed you. Slowly going up in grade from what I've been showing you here. Now all of these things make amethyst really lovely. I, um, I'm going to show you, it's a very popular mineral for carving, and I'm going to show you a couple examples of palm stones, but you can get all sorts of things in amethyst. 
Now, first of all, I'm going to show you a clear, fairly pale amethyst palm stone. Palm stones were originally devised to do massage, crystal massage. Uh, crystal massage, the crystals, the energy of the crystals helps to break up energy blocks so you don't have to rub as hard or you don't have to push in as hard. I know a lot of massage therapists who are starting to use it now because they're getting arthritis in their thumbs. You don't have to dig in with your thumbs like you do with normal massage. Beautiful piece, and a lot of people just hold these, or I even know a gentleman who collects them. He thinks they're beautiful, so he has a bowl full of them on his coffee table. Um, adds to it whenever he can. And finally, the last piece I'm going to show you is another palm stone. Now this is a chevron amethyst, which is a different sort of amethyst. It's usually considered gem grade because of the depth of color, but you don't get the sort of clarity that you do with other amethysts. It forms with layers of white jasper or white quartz, and you get these wonderful chevron shapes with it. You can see very clearly on this particular example. It's also quite dense. It doesn't have the clarity, as I said, it doesn't have the clarity that you get with the other types of quartz, but it does, um, it just has this incredible depth of color. Really lovely. Now, this type of amethyst is considered to be a strong spiritual connection, helping you to connect with your spiritual self, your higher self, with your guides and with spirit. So there you go. Enjoy your amethyst.